Hi everyone, Melissa here, design team member for Dobello's Designs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this card. I'm calling it, um, don't really know what I'm going to call it yet, but it's going to feature Topper and the Rabbit coming out. Um, and then the background is done with the stencil, different um, oxide inks, and several different embossing powders. So today the supplies that you're going to need is a 4x6 sheet of multifarious card for the topper and then I'm just backing it on a piece of black which is four and a half by six and a half and then I have a five by seven card base. We will be adhesing that with some ultra bond glue For the stamps, we're going to need Logan Silhouette LAB 771. We're going to be using Topper, which is LAB 792, and Texture 3 LAB 788. I've also created a mask using the topper with the Lavinia, um, Lavinia Stamps masking sheets. You just stamp that down and I've cut it out to have ready. We're going to use the Pods stencil. For inks, today for stamping we're going to be using Versafine Flare in Nocturne. We're going to be using Versamark, a watermark stamp pad. We're going to use Distress Oxides in Salvage Patina, Cracked Pistachio, and Uncharted Mariner. We will use um, probably the Nouveau Sweeper Brush. I have some blending brushes, a paint brush, um, a silver, metallic silver pin. And this is the brush that I use for my watermark. For embossing, we're going to use the Wow Clear Matte Dull in Clear. Oops. Um, Oceanic. Metallic Silver. And Spring Breeze. Um, you'll also need your heat gun and some masking tape. I'm out of the Sweet Poppy stencils, so I'm just using this is just Scott's Blue Painter's Tape. And we will use our stamping platform. Okay, I think that is just about everything. If I have forgotten something, as always, they will be linked down below. Just click the See More, and in the description, we'll have a link to everything that's in the videos and directly linked to this to Patty's to the item in this shop. Okay, so just going to clean off everything here and get situated. Okay, so. To get started, I'm going to just place my card here in my staffing platform and I'm going to stamp topper in the bottom right hand corner and kind of tilted. Now we're just going to give that a good quick spin in Nocturne and now as you know or I hope you know if you haven't seen the other embossing tutorials you can emboss with the worst fine clairs emboss right over them and they stay wet for a pretty good amount of time so that's the lowest image there give that a quick wave 
to pop off to the side. And now with Logan, we're going to just place our masking sheet without taking the sticky off yet. Just because we're going to emboss both. And I don't want to take the extra time to peel that because you've got to do it kind of quickly. It is a slow drying ink, but it does not dry as slow as the Versamark. So be aware. And I'm going to pull this down just so I get just the line. <laughs> the springtime allergies are coming okay so good press okay very good oh we'll scoop that a quick wipe And, yep, it got all the way down to the line. Sometimes it misses, so if it does, you just have to um, just fill it in with a fine line marker. Works just great. Okay, so done stamping. Set that off to the side. And now I have um, just a piece of, this is just really cheap copy paper. And we're going to emboss this with the Wow Clear Matte Dull. And the reason why I'm using this instead of the gloss is just simply because I like the finish. It's kind of like a velvety sort of finish. And for the design, I just think it looks great. Okay, so now we're going to heat emboss our image. So I will turn the noise off and you'll hear some music and I'll fast forward it just so you don't have to see that process. And if your card gets kind of in a shape, just Give it a good little, and it'll flatten itself right back out. Okay, so now that we've got our image embossed, now we're going to take the backing off of the masking sheet. Helps if you can get on the edge and just get your fingernail or something. There it goes under it. And then try not to lose that so you can reuse your masking or your mask. And these stay sticky for a while. You can use them several times. Depends on what your mediums are that you're using with it. If you're using something that's a lot more liquid, you probably won't get to use it as long. Okay, so masking. Mask is applied. I'm not, okay, so now I'm going to stamp my rocks. I'm calling them rocks. They look like rocks to me. This is texture number three. And I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave it right on the thing, on the acetate, the thing. And apply some ink. And I'm going to do this so it looks as if. This is sitting, the hat sitting on the rocks. 
just for a bit of grounding. A little bit more texture just because it's fun. And we'll just wipe that ink right off of there. And this is going to blend right into the background anyway, so that will just be fine. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, and now with our stencil, and I'm using pods, we're going to figure out where we like this. I'm done thinking. In there. I'm going to turn it over. See how that looks. I think I like the littler ones in front of him. Okay, so that will work. So now what I'm going to do is take my masking tape and I'm going to place my stencil and I'm going to line up my tape right to the base of my card and I'm going to try to keep that as flat to my surface as I can just because after embossing it the first time my card is really wanting to buckle and this is going to help keep it flat Hopefully, that is the goal. So I just kind of line it up as straight as I can. I'm placing it on my stencil first, and then I'm pulling it. flat as I go. And okay, so I'm not worried about this much, this part too much, because we're just doing the background. I just want to make sure that I'm not on my card at all. I'm only just around the edge. Okay, so that's perfect. So now we're going to do some blending. And I'm going to start with the salvage patina first. And I'm just going to ink this up and pretty much cover the stencil. or this stencil, the entire surface card. Of course, you don't have to go there. And I'm not worried about getting a good coverage. We're just kind of hitting it. We're going to have so many other colors, but I want the salvage patina to be the base. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then with our cracked pistachio, we're just going to kind of just go around randomly and, and get a few spaces there and then with the unchartered, unchartered mariner I'm actually going to grab my little number three stencil brush a Lavinia stencil brush and this we're just going to do in the base of the pods and just kind of flick up and this is just going to add some dimension I'll just go all the way around that one Uh, 
I'm, do, I'm gonna do it along the edge pretty good just to fill in and I'm going all the way around the bottom of the card and all the way around all these edges and then going back to my craft pistachio no, nope, I'm going to go with my salvage patina, excuse me, no, salvage patina blending brush. And then we're just going to give another blend really quick over the entire, that's nice and blended in. Okay, now without removing anything, we're just going to give this a little bit of a dry because the oxides do tend to stay wet. And I'm going to add a layer of the Versamark, and I don't really want that to mix in with all the oxides. Just give my stencil just a bit of a clean and I'm just doing this really quickly um, and very lightly and I'm gonna kind of okay so now with a stencil brush and the Versa mark the watermark clear we're going to just ink up our brush. And as you can see, I've got some purple on there, but that won't hurt. And I'm going to stay in the pods the best I can. I don't recommend this brush. Just one that I had that was clean. They're very stiff. They do work fine. It's just, I don't know. And I'm trying to stay away from Logan, so I'm not getting it on him. Just kind of over this. And I'm not trying to get in these lines in between the pods either. Just just the insides of the pods as much as I can. If it goes over, it really still looks, it still looks good. So don't even have to worry about that. Okay, so now we will remove this tape and stencil and all. Ooh, that's some pretty strong tape there. Okay, and with my, this is a towel that I use to clean my stamps. We're going to just buff all that oxide ink right off. Okay, so we'll we'll do that again here in just a second, but for now that'll work just good. Okay, so now with our powders. We're going to do this in a variegated kind of method. Variegated, I don't know if that's the right word, but we're just going to sprinkle powders on here and there and we'll see what we get. So I'm going to start with the Oceanic. This is the one that does not really have any glitter in it and I'm just going to lightly I'm going to zoom in as much as I can when I edit this, but hopefully. So I'm just, just a light little amount, okay? And then we'll give it a bit of a shake and let it fall off. So in no way 
is that filled in. Because we're doing it with three colors, I have lots of room to add more color and this is why I'm add, I'm getting lots of different pieces of copy paper so I don't contaminate my colors. Uh, it's easy just to have a crease in the center. Okay and this one is the Spring Breeze and it is an embossing glitter powder so there's lots of glitter sparkle in there. So I'm just going to kind of very lightly again just give this a little shimmer okay i suppose you can probably take it out with your hand and do it like that but okay down, back into the pot it goes. See, and you always have the glitter that sticks to the paper. That's why I'm suggesting going with a few different and this little sweeper brush is just magnificent for sweeping everything up into a pile. And then you can sweep it right onto your paper and dump into the trash. Okay, and last color and that is going to be the metallic silver. Okay, and so we're going to do just the same thing, just kind of give it, I'm going to do a little bit more of the silver. I'm actually going to cover up quite a lot, just because it's going to only catch where there isn't embossing powder already. And by now, this silver is definitely contaminated with glitter but that really doesn't bother me too badly so it's going to go right back in. Um, you can get some other little pots if that bothers you and you don't like your colors to be contaminated. Okay so now we need our little this paintbrush here and we're just going to Get that powder off of Logan. So I'm just loosening that up. And because it's on the mask, that does not even matter. So I am just gonna go like that. And I'm gonna sweep this up. If you heat before you clean up, you can actually melt the embossing powder right to your table. All right, so enough of that. I want to make sure that I'm not getting it on the hat or on the clothing. So I'm just going to peel that off. And now if I can remember where I put my mask top, right there, you can put this stuff on there. Okay, so now I'm going to heat set this. And okay, so heat set this card now, and I will show you what you get. Just completely heat set the entire surface and 
start at one, excuse me, start at the bottom, work your way to the top, top to bottom, left to right, however you like to do it, just start slowly, work your way completely across. hoping you can see all of the glimmer, the shimmer. It's really probably hard to pick up on camera. But you got metallic, you got glitter, you got matte dull, and this did stay fairly matte. It will shine back up when you heat it, but that's okay. Okay, so to finish off, I like to take, clean up all this powder. Powder kind of goes everywhere, so. Okay, so some Uncharted Mariner and a paintbrush. Add some water, and I'm just going to give this a little coat. I'll distress it a bit. And the embossing does act as a resist, so And now with our silver pin, I like to just kind of go along this edge here, the eyelets. And you can do these in gold if you prefer, or white. But because I used the silver embossing powder as well, I thought that might kind of just tie it all together. And these gel pins stay wet, so you can kind of color it and then smudge it in. Just distresses it a bit. And it works for some highlights as well. And just buff it out with your finger it works and you can add as much distressing kind of as you want I just want it to look pretty magical okay and then I'm going to take my blending brush and my uncharted mariner and I'm gonna just darken up this edge slightly on the bottom more so just under that and I'm just going to hit the top Okay, and then we will mount this down. And if you, I was doing one earlier for practice and see how much space I had. So instead of wasting the card, I just did the design on the other side. And I bet you didn't know, and I bet no one else is ever going to know either. So don't have to throw it all in the scrap bin. 
That's a quick tip. <laughs> And glue this down. I'm very messy today. <laughs> well, what's going on with me? I guess that's normal. Okay, I have a bit of glue right there. Okay, so there we have it. I hope that you can see all of the sparkle and the shine on that is so pretty. I'm trying to catch the light. But anyways, um, it is just, you get all of the different colors comes out pretty cool and it really blends in but it gives it a lot of dimension as well so i hope you guys like this tutorial hope you try it out i'm gonna call it logan and the magic cat so look for look for I'll look for nothing so logan and the magic cat thank you so much for joining me today i hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial playing with some embossing powders and some of the new lavinia stamps um, be sure to click below in the see more section for all of the supplies directly linked to Dobella's website. And if you have not done so already and you're on Facebook, please follow us on our Facebook groups. We have two. We have Dobella's Designs Lounge for everything Lavinia and we have Dobella's Designs a la carte for everything not Lavinia, such as we puppy stencils, um, Nelly's Choice, Cardio, Craft Consortium, so many things that Patty carries in her shop. So please follow us there. If you create something kind of similar using a technique, please tag me. I love to see which guys create. Um, if you want to leave a comment, feel free to do that below as well. All right. Well, thank you guys so very much. Have a great day and happy Easter.